Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, where today I'm going to be doing just a fun little quest to pass the time here before, in the next episode, we actually throw an attempt at the event fatalities and get our butts handed to us. So let me just find the quest that I want. Actually, I think it's two star. Yes. We're going to fight a Yon Cut Koo. And it should be interesting enough. Probably won't last very long, but... Eh. I don't need a quest to last a long time. I just need a quest to be fun. And just for the record, while I'm sure if I threw a bunch more attempts at that Rajang, like, off-camera... I'd probably eventually be able to bring it down. But then I'd just have to do it again in a training quest. And honestly, I don't have high hopes for that going too well. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and not. Probably should have waved at the balloon. Actually, nope, there's our target. Yeah, I, I'm i ready to be done with Freedom Unite. Are you serious? These cats steal my combo books so frequently. Ow. Yeah, I'm ready to be done with Freedom Unite because, like, I've got my 3U run going, and now that Monster Hunter World is out, I've got that going, and just... This is my least favorite Monster Hunter game that I've ever played. And I mean, sure, I've put over 200 hours into it, but... I'm ready to be done. And as soon as I throw my attempts at each of the G-Rank Fatalises, then I'm going to be counting this as officially done. And I'll be retiring it. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to be sad about it. Like, I have had some good times with this game. I can't lie about that. Like, I don't think it's a great Monster Hunter game. But I've still had some good times with it. Like, everything I've played that's more recent than this, I've enjoyed significantly more. But to say that this isn't fun from time to time is just incorrect. Ow. The fact that this tiny thing still does full damage and some of its hitboxes seem to still be full size is a little silly. And also that giant freaking fireball. It spits out fireballs bigger than it is. And we broke the ears. Always weird when the camera gets forced out of bounds like that. Yeah, this little guy's fireballs are a little too big for him. Um, I was behind it, and yet the fireball explosion got me. I 
I know it's practically a criminal offense to say this game has less than perfect hitboxes, but its hitboxes could use some polish. And I know, like, everyone who plays this game does admit that its hitboxes are odd at times, especially when it comes to a very specific fish. Yeah, it bears repeating from time to time. This game's hitboxes are just wonky at best. Ow. The fact that this thing's voice changes with its size makes it really not sound like a cut group. like to get a KO, but I don't see that happening. It's too hard to hit specifically the face on such a tiny thing. I'm going to get a gold small crown when I finish this quest. Well, it didn't stay here long. And incidentally, since the next episode is going to feature Fatalis, we're going to back-to-back hear this music and then the Fatalis version of this music with the chorus added. That'll be interesting. Well, got a Cutku scale from the bone pile that was beneath the Cutku. I know this episode's gonna be really short, but it was just a filler episode to begin with, so what do you want from me? Like, I just needed to do this to give myself some breathing room to get my preparations for the Fatalises done, because I needed an episode to go up today. And this way I get an extra week to prep for Fatalis. So yeah. We get a tiny bird in a tiny episode. Because I needed a tiny break. What do you know, it was gold small. Who would have guessed? All right, that's it for this episode. Join us next time when I am going to fail a Fatalis quest. See you then, friends. <laughs>